With an estimated population of about 140 million people, Nigeria, Africa's most populous nation, is without doubt blessed with diverse tourist attractions that should make the country the tourist hub of Africa. Sadly, this has not been the case. Experts in the industry believe that Nigeria has placed too much emphasis on oil at the detriment of other sources of revenue like tourism. We've been able to make a statement that tourism will be one particular particular product that will change our economic strength as a people. Because you see, people talk about oil. Oil is good, but tourism is better. Because oil is exhaustible, but tourism is sustainable and tourism is life. The need for a well-coordinated security network to sustain Nigeria's boarding tourism industry took center stage at the 2009 Joint Tourism Board meeting in Abuja, Nigeria's capital. Experts say the size of the country makes it vulnerable to security threats by criminals who use tourist destinations to perpetrate their evil acts. In encouraging inflow of visitors for tourism, which is highly developmental, we have to be very conscious, we the stakeholders, we the practitioners, we the tourism administrators, that we're able to be proactive and forestall any use of tourism as an opportunity to penetrate this country for hostile activities. Some of the participants express optimism about the future of tourism in Nigeria. Tourism can earn us more than oil is earning us because, I mean, tourism is uh, sustainable and is inaccessible. All we need to do is to put our acts together. Nigeria's tourism industry is at infancy. If allowed to blossom in the mold of countries like Dubai, South Africa, Trinidad and Tobago, Brazil and Ethiopia, the Nigerian economy will no longer be bedeviled by the price of oil at the international market as presently obtained. Resola de Banjo, AIT.